Welcome to Hemlock Mountain Outdoors. I'm Kurt, and today we're going to take a look at the 1106 tarp. This is our new tarp. It's seamless. It's a smaller rectangle, and it's designable to be set up in either a rectangle or in an ASIM configuration. So I'm going to take it out of the bag, and we're going to get it set up. You want to pick your trees that you're going to hang from, which I already have, and then I'm going to get the bag and I'm going to get the ridge line out first, get that set up, and then hang the tarp. In the stuff sack, I've got my ridge line right here. I'm going to set this up first. This is 25 feet long. It's got a couple adjustable hooks, and it's also got some prussic knots already attached to it. So as you can see, there's just two plastic hooks on either end of this 25 foot piece of cord. It makes it easy, no knots to tie, and they are adjustable. On this end, I've uh, pulled the cord through the adjuster and just wrapped around a couple times just to keep it as secure as possible tarp out and I'm going to set it up in the asymmetric configuration and I'll show you how that looks. Out of the bag you can see on the sewn on poles here uh, there's D-rings. Now with the tarp there'll be two shock groups with hooks on the end uh, that you can put on any of the D-rings and these just you just put these on with like a lark's head. Just loop it through itself so you can configure this any way you want. And so you just feed that through, loop it through itself, and they got a way to connect to the included pressing knots. Currently I have this set up on opposing corners instead of in the, in the center of the, the short end. So on the either corner, this will give me a good asymmetric lie for how I hang in my hammock with my head to the left and my feet to the right. So you can see these hooks just go onto the prussics on either spot. And then you simply tighten your prussics. With the tarp, I include tie outs for four spots. No tent stakes, because not everybody likes this style tent stake. Um, so just the cordage. And I just have mine attached right to the tent stake itself. And then same way as the shock cord, I'm just gonna make a loop and then feed this through itself um, at that D-ring to attach it to the tarp. layout 
So when you're underneath, your head's out to this side, your feet are up that side, you're covered. Now you could also tie out to these other spots here, which I'll do just to help keep the tarp in place. Eleven foot hammock like the coyote pack. You've got plenty of coverage with just an eleven foot by six foot tarp. So you can see they even in the eleven foot coyote pack here. I am well covered. See that guy? So what I've done is I've thrown my trekking poles in this last two hoops just to give it a little more headroom on this side. If I want to, if, well, I don't have any more cordage. Actually, I do. Um, I could just tie those out and tighten this up. We're not going to get any rain tonight, so I'm not too worried about it. But as you can see, there is no seam. No seam in the 1106 tarp. So that's the 1106 tarp. These start at just $75 if you don't need any cordage. And then depending on the cordage that you get, we, we add that in. But $75 bucks for the tarp, and it never needs to be seam sealed. And it will fit an 11 foot hammock if you're in the ASIM mode. Now, rectangular mode obviously would just be a square shot down sides um, for a smaller hammock, or if you just need it uh, protection from light rain. Or in the fall, <laughs> a lot of times I'll hang a tarp just to keep the acorns from bouncing off my head in the middle of the night because I won't have a tarp on. Um, and you don't need to be woken up by a falling acorn, it sucks. So that's a look at the 1106 tarp. Go check it out on hammockmountainoutdoors.com and order yours today.